Hi guys, today we are here to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. And what better way to pay homage to all things green than with my lucky brownies. And I have a few fun ingredients to celebrate our theme. So let's go ahead and get started. And I might go ahead and add this as sugar-free, gluten-free, grain-free as well. So this is perfect for just about anybody. So I start out with two tablespoons of butter. I make sure my butter, pretty much any dairy things are all room temperature, even my eggs. So room temperature butter. And I do a third of a cup of golden monk fruit. I use the Lakanto monk fruit. I love monk fruit. It won't raise your blood sugar. It's all natural. So it's perfect, zero calories. So normally I would take my darling turquoise beaters and beat those, but because we're filming, I won't use the beaters. But normally I just beat that till that is very well incorporated. After that's incorporated, then we get into our fun green ingredients. I take a four ounce zucchini, I trim off the ends, and four ounces is usually the smallest zucchini that you can find at the store. They're very tiny. Weigh it out when you get home. And I grate it into a dishcloth. The other big tip is I use my smallest grater, so it's very fine. Don't use the big grater, otherwise you will have chunks in it. And here's the fun part. You grate it into a dish towel, and then you take it, and then you just squeeze all that excess liquid out of there and it dries really fast. If you want to do this ahead of time a few hours, then you can just let your zucchini rest in your towel. You'll have a significant amount of liquid left over, but once that is done, it's very dry and you just add it to your ingredients. And again, I would typically use my beaters to stir this together. The next fun ingredient that I have as you notice, I only use two tablespoons of butter. That is not very much fat for a recipe, but I am using a small avocado cut in half, and that is more of my green ingredients, and that also adds to the fat and the moisture in the ingredients. So again, you just incorporate that with your beaters and stir it in. The next thing I would do would be to add my two eggs. Again, this adds more moisture because of the fat in the eggs, but I make sure that those eggs are room temperature as well. All of those things seem to be very critical if you want a nice rise on your baked goods. I blend that in until it's fully incorporated. Next, I do a half a cup of cocoa powder. And when you're using half a cup of cocoa powder, you can cut down on your flour ingredients. I use a cup of almond flour in this, but what I love about the cocoa powder is it adds more flavor. It's only 10 calories per tablespoon. So it's a huge bonus. So when you can substitute cocoa for flour, do that where you can. So there's my cup of almond flour. I do a teaspoon of baking powder, a dash of cinnamon, and a dash of vanilla. And that is literally it. It's all one bowl. I would blend this together with my Darling Turquoise beaters and then pour it into this eight by eight pan. And as you see, this is the Lucky Brownies that you come up with. They are so rich, so delicious. Um, my husband couldn't even tell that they didn't have sugar in them. Perfect for any type of uh, St. Patrick's Day occasion that you're having. Um, the for the frosting again i use two tablespoons room temperature butter and i do um well four tablespoons or two ounces of cream cheese blend that together and then i do a fourth of a cup of sour cream and a third of a cup of this uh confectioner's monk fruit the lakanto brand is what i always use this recipe is up on my blog, Food Fitness by Page, under Lucky Brownies. If you have some fun ideas that you do for St. Patrick's Day, share them with me. I would love to hear what they are and maybe share them with others too. So wishing you a very lucky, happy St. Patrick's Day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.